Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review GNOME Shell Dex Session or Desktop on Ubuntu 17.04. And I'm really interested in it. Uh, and you can also, by the way, install GNOME Shell uh, just by typing sudo apt install gnome-shell. And you will be able to choose, uh, of course, from there, uh, I have to, or I should mention, that uh, there you will have an option to choose either light dim or GDM. Light DM is the current Ubuntu Display Manager, but uh, GNOME's uh, own uh, Display Manager is GDM. So I chose GDM, and it help. It is handling my GPU uh, not bad. I I'd say quite good thus far. So what's in the GNOME shell? Well, it is um, kind of mixed. Not every uh, GNOME features I have in this uh, GNOME shell. It has almost everything uh, uh, around the release of 3.24. So the future of Ubuntu is GNOME. You may have already heard because uh, Ubuntu is living Unity, finally. And taking the GNOME as their default DE or uh, desktop environment. So hopefully uh, on 17.10, we might have GNOME version 3.26 with many new features. I have mentioned uh, in one of my news videos that you can uh, snap windows. On this version, uh, we can't. Uh, let me show you why. what I'm talking about. Let's say I open terminal. Now on 3.6, what happens? You, you will be able to res you know, resize the window and it will adjust itself but in here we can't uh, do that so that is a good advantage it has the Nautilus version of 3.20.4 and Ubuntu is famous for having the you know back end or way behind the latest version on 3.24 uh, it's not that it has big improvements or something like another stuff of file manager noted or Nautilus itself so it's almost same. Yes, there is tweaks and fixes here and there, but Ubuntu is using 3.20 on this occasion. But on others equation, it is uh, using 3.24. Uh, excuse me. So what about the memory usage? Well, I have, as you can see, a screen recorder on terminal on and file manager. So I will open system manager. and it is using 2.1 gig of ram so it is not the lightest of course even kd is uh, gonna behave the similar way if you have, uh, intend to install kd or if you already uh, running kd system you already know that so it is almost similar it's heavy it's not lightweight uh, if you want the lightweight system there's an option like Lubuntu 2 or uh, zoom to or even one tomate they're quite lightweight on and uh, not resource hungry so there's another way we could check free hyphen m so that that's saying here's it's saying uh, using almost two gig yeah so now then what what do we have here we have or application list we have some games default games and calculator calendar this uh, browser and the genu it's a gimp i install it uh, manually so is google chrome departed uh, they weren't uh, installed by default so there's a few apps that i installed myself and the default one is contacts cheese and the language support and the office suit that is libra office and also it's impress cal and in the utilities we backup archive manager uh, character disk uses image viewer tweak tool is the gnome tweak tool that i installed system manager and videos uh, that's default and so is rhythm box so these are the Default apps, but the presentation in GNOME is different. So you click on this, and 
it, it, it shows this way by the way I have already done uh, so many tweaks or installed uh, extensions so there's the extension page which I'm going to show you so this is the GNOME extension website extensions.gnome.org and you can find many extensions here which uh, many are useful and let me show you my installed extensions what I've done so I have an installed app folder management extensions so what it does is if I go to software and as you can see LibreOffice they weren't separate like the all the other apps but I uh, did it like my Android uh, phone uh, I uh, kept the specific package and gave it a name LibreOffice and kept it under one hood dash to dock is where it is coming from uh, if I disable it this dash to dock will disappear and if I uh, hit my mouse to activities it will show here this is the dock I mean to access this panel this is uh, really important so to keep it uh, like all the time even uh, it would look like Mac OS uh, Mac iOS all you have to do is just to find or search for the dash to dock and once you install it this will uh, appear not actually on the bottom it will appear on the left what you have to do you have to configure I uh, click on the settings and configure and then you can uh, customize the way you want it's not that it has many uh, options but couple up yes it has uh, even uh, support for multi monitor and head to next I install this extend panel menu I personally don't like this uh, panel I mean kind of looks messy because it looks incomplete first of all and second of all I think uh, it should have been separate by by default but uh, this extension doesn't make it very very good to me uh, you know sometimes it's buggy I find it a little bit uh, not the way I want it so I uh, didn't disable it but sorry I didn't remove it but I disabled it and I'm hoping on Ubuntu 17.10 17 version and hopefully GNOME 3.26 will bring these new features now Gmail message tray it's a very handy feature when you hit to this time zone there will be a notification area and by enabling that extension I can see my uh, email notifications here suppose if I have any new message uh, it will show uh, in here as, as a list and uh, it will also show on the right side or a pop up suppose if I get a new message and by open weather well I like and in fact I always love to know about my weather condition so that is why I in installed or enabled this open weather extension the user teams user teams is also important it is because uh, if you want to install a different theme rather than the default GNOME uh, theme suppose you download a tar file and you want to use that uh, theme then you must this this user theme is must to uh, be you know able to use the external theme from outside gnome has very few features to talk about now one of them is the night feature so night feature is a great feature because if you work on at night and uh, a light suppose your light is turned off then this feature will change the color of of your display now you can set a manual time or use the default uh, settings uh, this helps on in your eyesight and the another feature that I could mention that is the calendar calendar has now weekly week view there's month as you can show as see on my screen here month and week view on week view we can add multiple nodes or events there I go 
there is a short view of uh, GNOME shell on Ubuntu 17.04 and I am uh, looking forward to 17.10 and hopefully GNOME 3.26 which is supposed to bring very very good features in fact new new important features and uh, also looking at the uh, Ubuntu team obviously they are going to uh, give their extra effort so until then feel free to comment subscribe and like my videos support me that way you want thanks for watching and see you later